Maharashtra is a state in the western peninsula region of India. It is the second most popular state in India. In this video, we will show you the upcoming future projects in Maharashtra. Before starting the video, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Number 1. Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor The Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor project is an under construction industrial development project between India's capital Delhi and its financial hub Mumbai. It's one of the world's largest infrastructure project with an estimated investment of 90 billion US dollar and it is planned as a high-tech industrial zone spread across six states. As well as Delhi, the national capital and itself a union territory, the investments will be spread across the 1,500 km long western dedicated freight corridor, which will serve as the industrial corridor's transportation backbone. It includes 24 industrial regions, 8 smart cities, 2 international airport, 5 power projects, 2 mass rapid transit system, and 2 logistical hub. The project has received a major boost from India and Japan due to an agreement to set up a project development fund with initial size of 1000 crore. The Japanese and Indian governments are likely to contribute equally. The work is progressing at a rapid pace with the dedicated flight corridor expected to be completed by 2021. Number 2. Mumbai Coastal Road the Mumbai Coastal Road is an under-construction eight-lane, 29.2 km long freeway that would run along Mumbai's western coastline connecting marine lanes in the south to Kandavalli in the north. The Coastal Road is projected to be used by 1,30,000 vehicles daily and it is expected to reduce travel time between south Mumbai and western suburbans from 2 hours to 40 minutes. The estimated cost of the project is 12,000 crore. Its first phase, a 9.98 km section from Princess Street flyover to the early end of the Bandra Valley sailing, is expected to be completed by mid 2022. The coastal road will be built in two phases. It will have eight lanes, including two lanes dedicated for a bus rapid transit system. The project will be expected to be completed by 2022. Number 3 Navi Mumbai International Airport. Navi Mumbai International Airport is an under-construction Greenfield International Airport being built at Ulve Kapoor Panvel in Maharashtra, India. It will be the second international airport for the Mumbai metropolitan region, functioning alongside Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport as India's first urban multi-airport system. The first phase of the airport will be able to handle 20 million passengers per annum. It will be the expanded to final capacity to handle more than 90 million passengers per annum. Texas-based Jacobas Engineering Group will chart the final master plan for the airport. While the airport passenger terminal and ATC tower will be designed by London-based Zaha Adit Architects. The 160 billion project is being executed by Navi Mumbai International Airport Limited, a special purpose entity formed by the GVK Group and City and Industrial Development Corporation, CIDCO, which will hold 74% and 26% equity share of Navi Mumbai International Airport respectively. The airport covers an area of 1,160 hectares of land. Number 4. Mumbai Pune Hyperloop the Maharashtra government proposed to construct Mumbai Pune Hyperloop. The Hyperloop project aims to reduce the travel time between Pune and Mumbai from around 3 hours to just 25 minutes, and it would be the first such system in the world. The total cost of the project is estimated at 70,000 crore, and it will be the implemented by Virgin Hyperloop 1. Number 5. Mumbai Trans Arbor Link The Mumbai Trans Arbor Link is an under-construction 21.8 km freeway-grade road bridge connecting the Indian city of Mumbai with Navi Mumbai, its satellite city. When completed, it would be the longest sea bridge in India. The bridge will begin in Sauri, South Mumbai and cross Thane and it will terminate at Chirle village near Navasheva. The road will be linked to the Mumbai-Pune Expressway in the east and the proposed western freeway in the west. The ceiling will contain a six-lane highway which will be 27 meters in width in addition to emergency exit lanes, edge trip and crash barrier. The project is estimated to cost 40,262 crore. The MMRDA awarded contract for the project in November 2017. Construction began in April 2018 and it's scheduled to complete within four and a half a year. The MMRDA estimates that 70,000 vehicles will use the bridge daily after its open. Number 6. Mumbai Ahmedabad Bullet Train 
Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail corridor is an under construction high speed rail that connecting the cities of Ajmer, Jaipur, Udaipur, Ahmedabad and India's economic hub Mumbai. When completed it will be India's first high speed rail line. As of September 2020, the Japanese consortium estimates the line to open in December 2023. Construction is expected to begin by April 2020 and the project was expected to be completed by December 2023. The corridor will use Japan Railway's Shingasen E5 series as its rolling stock. As of July 2020, 60 percentage of required land has been acquired and the rest of almost on the verge of completion. Civil works tenders covering 68% corridor land in Gujarat, 80% in Dada Nagar Haveli and 22% in Maharashtra and a separate tender for 28 steel bridges have been allocated. Remaining tendering processes is underway. Number 7 Mumbai Nagpur Expressway Mumbai Nagpur Expressway is an under construction 701 km long 8 lane expressway that connecting the two capitals of Maharashtra, Mumbai and Nagpur. The expressway will run through 10 districts, 390 villages in the state, and is expected to cut travel time between two cities to 8 hours. The project is expected to cost 46,000 crores and requires the acquisition of 8,603 hectares of land. Maharashtra State Road Development Corporation is the nodal agency responsible for executing the project which comprises building a completely greenfield expressway, designed for speeds up to 150 km per hour on the flat terrain and up to 100 km per hour on the mountains terrain on Western Ghats section. The state government also planned to build 24 townships along the route which will include state-of-the-art healthcare facilities, skill management centers, IT parks and educational institutions. Number 8. Nasik Metro Nasik Metro, also known as Metro Neo, with the two electric trolleybus lines totaling 32 km, is a bus rapid transit system proposed to be built in Nasik, Maharashtra, jointly by the Maharashtra Metro Rail Corporation Limited, City and Industrial Development Corporation and Maharashtra Industrial Development Corporation. Electric bus coaches on this unique system will be 25 meter long, run on rubber wheels and have a maximum capacity to carry 250 passengers at a time. Overall system capacity is estimated at 50,000. Coaches will draw power from an overhead electrical system on the elevated portions and use battery power while operating on the at-grade sections. Number 9. Pune Ring Road Pune Ring Road is a road planned for construction in Pune, India. Pune Metropolitan Region Development Authority claimed that the road will decrease traffic congestion and provide better access to the fastest growing areas. The road will be 128 km long and will service 29 villages by connecting all highways around the city. The cost is estimated at 1.5 billion US dollar. The Pimri Chechavad Municipal Corporation Pune Municipal Corporation and the PMRD are responsible for the road plan and purchase of the required land. The Public Works Department suggested that design, finance, build, operate, transfer model be used. The ring road will be 128 km long when complete. The road will consist of two lanes on both sides and will include eight flyovers, four bridges over railways, 40 subway roads and 30 tunnels. The total land used for the project will be 48 hectares of government owned land and 25 hectares of privately owned land. Number 10 Pune Metro Pune Metro is a metro rail based rapid transit system under construction to serve Pune Central and the areas of Pimbri and Chinjavad. As of December 2090, the foundation stone for lines 1, 2, 3 are laid by Prime Minister of India. The first two lines with a combined length of 31 km and are being implemented by the Maharashtra Metro Rail Corporation Limited, a 50-50 joint venture of state and central government. Line 3 will be implemented by the Pune Metropolitan Region Development Authority and the joint venture of between Tata Realty and Siemens on a public-private partnership basis. On 18th December 2018, PM Modi laid the foundation stone for Line 3. Construction on Line 3 was started on January 2020.